Hey there everyone, welcome to an updated game development series. In this series we're going to be focusing on developing a 2D roguelike platformer game within the language Dart. In this episode I'm just going to talk to you a bit about what is Dart and why we're going to be using it instead of other popular frameworks or languages such as Unity or Java. If you don't really care about that and just want to start, head on over to episode 2 where I teach you how to set up your workspace. So let's begin. Dart, according to their own description of the language, is an open source scalable programming language with robust libraries and runtimes for building web, server, and mobile apps. That's a lot of technical terms, so let me break it down for you in terms that we're going to be using it for. Dart allows you to access and make use of HTML5 and WebGL from within itself, and it exports straight into JavaScript so it will run anywhere that you can run a web browser. This is optimal as it allows our gamers, people playing the games, access to run the game from anywhere without having to maintain multiple code bases for Linux, mobile, Mac, or Windows. Its syntax allows you to write in JavaScript or use an object-oriented approach found in high-level languages such as C++ or Java, or you can combine the two for sloppy code. You can also find more information about how relatable the language is to others on their FAQ on the website. Uh, I linked it in the description. They pull a lot of optimal features in from other languages into one super simplified and extremely versatile language for writing web, web apps. You can probably already read Dart code too if you're familiar with any other programming language. And it's super simple to create with and allows for super fast deployment. There's a lot of other frameworks that can do this, Unity being one of them. However, it all comes down to preference at the end of the day. I find Unity to be a little clunky and more about clicking your way through menus in the IDE rather than writing the code itself. And personally speaking, I love getting low with code. So I'm going to be showing you how to create a basic HTML5 game using Dart and WebGL. I'm going to be uploading videos once every other day to start, and the videos themselves will focus on smaller code blocks in my prior tutorials so I can more accurately explain what we're going to be doing. Uh, we, we're going to be going through rendering with WebGL, sprite creation, animation, entity AI, and a bunch of other shit. Uh, all the code will be hosted in a repository on my GitHub page, so if at any point you wish to check out the source of the code for a specific episode or what's changed, head on over to there, it'll be linked in the description. I'll also be including a written version of these tutorials available on my website, uh, also linked in the description, so if you simply wish to read and work at your own pace instead of pausing and starting videos, head over there for that. If you ever need to contact me or ask me a question, the best way is sending me a tweet, on Twitter, or just uh, directly emailing me at ryan at So that's pretty much it for this episode, and I will see you next time.